Steve, a pleasure to see you. Oh, good to see you too. An honor to be with you, one of the most respected and admired drummers in the world today. Oh, thank you, and I feel the same way about you. Too. Yeah, but with you, it's genuine. So. No, it is with me. It's <laughs> All right. genuine. Man. I'll really. accept that. When I was at Eastman School of Music in the '60s, um, I played. I got pairs of your sticks, your snare drum sticks, with with Vic Firth burnt. Those into are collectors, I yeah, I got them. I got, <laughs> uh, you know, I had like uh, the uh, there were. Uh, I mean, I think there were two different. There were two size snare drum sticks. There were heavier ones, and then the ones with yeah. the, the smaller beads. Yeah. Beautiful sticks, yeah. and I still have them. And um, and the quality and the standard is is still as high. And the way, you know, like uh, the way that we did the brushes and, uh, you know, we bend them up a little bit is perfect for me. So I'm real happy with the relationship. How long have we been doing this together, Steve? Uh, I, you, I, I don't, I mean, it seems like forever. <laughs> I, but I don't remember when. I don't exactly. either. I mean, guessing what, 30 years? Yeah, a long time. <laughs> I'm getting old. And here's the 30 You more. still look the same. No, you look the same. <laughs> Two <This> liars. <laughs> he was telling me the other day he wants his name to be bigger on the sticks. I guess he didn't want to tell me. No, I want the picture of the bulldog on there. Yeah, we talked about that. I, but you never sent me the bulldog. I know. Well, I, 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 I will. I'll, I'll, I'll send you the I thing. I saw the, the bag that that other company named Zoom That's the That's makes. the bulldog. It looks great. That's I the, worked the, the bags are... You went to Zoom? Oh, oh, excuse me. That bulldog was a, is, a, is a drawing of a bulldog that I had. I know. You told me and the story I, of the dog. It and was like a family member. Oh, he was unbelievable. It was like living with a cartoon. Yeah. This is... Carol gave me this for my birthday. It's got a little bulldog. Oh, yeah. that's sweet. One thing I wanted to just discuss a little bit with you, and that's a subject that lately has bothered me, listening to teachers and young drummers. They're obsessed with playing loud and playing fast, and I hear nothing said about sound. Now you have such a defined sound that's recognized anywhere. How did you conceive of the sound? You know, I don't know if I if if I conceived of it. It's just that um, I try to I try to play musically, and I've learned uh, over the past you know few years of Maybe playing that yep. that uh, the gr the groove feels better when you're not playing loud. Mm -hmm. That the harder you play, the the a lot of your technique goes right out the window. Mm -hmm. Um, that uh, fast playing might be exciting, but you know, in terms of recording, doesn't translate. Sometimes the simpler, softer things, um, you know, are more communicable on recordings than the loud, fast, you know, what seems to be exciting at the time. I, I learned that from being in the studio and. You know, listening back to takes that I thought were were really good at the time, and then hearing them back, were way too busy and and, and uh, way too energetic, and uh, so it's just uh, you know through experience. I think it developed from an inner sense of musicality. Uh, yeah, maybe it did. Because yeah. you know, when I talk to young drummers, I tell them that when they sign their name. That's their personal signature. When they strike their instrument, whatever that might be, that's their musical signature. Now, where do you place that? You're making a sound. You have to consider the timbre of the sound, the placement of the sound, the dynamic of the sound. They look at me like I'm talking Greek. Well, like on this, you do instinctively. But you do see on timpani. That's like part of the, that's a that's a part of the whole thing that you learn right from the beginning. That's a big, yeah. no it is, I mean like just the, the different choice of mallets, um, the, you know, you gotta, you gotta tune the drums, you gotta, you know, you gotta lift the sound out of it, and... Um, so you understand that because you play timpani. Well, I, I studied that, but I think that, uh, you know, in, in being taught by John Beck and, and learning different percussion things, that that sort of became a part of the, the way that I, 
you know, a, was I playing snare drum and didn't yeah. really, um, yeah. I, I didn't really think about it. Yeah. You have to think about it uh, every time because that's a big part of the instrument. This uh, is true, but don't don't shy away from the fact that you do the same thing. And um, the only way I can sort of, uh, you know, relate to that is like on a snare drum, is like. Um, you know, there's certain ways where you, there's a way where you get hit a drum hard, and uh, it doesn't get any bigger; it chokes up. Mm -hmm. But there's another way where, it, and it has to do with the drum too. But it's a combination of the player and the drum, where the louder, the harder you get, the more open it gets. And that's you know, so that's I think it's a combination of the instrument and. Um, and the way that the person plays it. Well, you know what you're defining? You're defining the difference between a big sound and a loud sound. Loud isn't necessarily good. And pianissimo can be big. Right. And still offer you something in the musical vocabulary. Mm -hmm. and that's what you do with such style and taste. I love it. Oh, Every time you. I hear you play, my mouth go, stays open and I enjoy what I hear. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Is there one musical event that is really outstanding in your career thus far? I'm the sure one that tons of the, the one that you and I did together. That was the one. That, <laughs> that was good for laughs. laughs. We did something together thirty years ago. Yeah, that was good. I liked that. That was fun. That was, fun. That was a. I, I it was great for me because I got. I mean, for me, uh, being a drummer, it's like the best place to to sit is right next to the person, right next to another mm -hmm. drummer, because mm -hmm. you can see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So we were right next to each other, and I, I got a chance to hear and see you play closer than I've ever been before, and, uh, and it was a treat. I yeah. loved it. What you did for me is like having a painting. I'm the painting, but you're the frame. And without that frame, you could have thrown the painting out, I must tell you. Oh. It was the compliment of the frame that made the success well, I, of, the, of the event. I feel the same way, man. I was <laughs> like, I feel the same way about you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure.